guys, it is time for some Zatsuba no Shima, and we are just hours away from the launch of the brand new DLC Eclipse. You're going to hang out here on the channel. I've got some exclusive zombie intel for you regarding the new map, and one of the things that seemed to spark a lot more questions than answers that you guys saw in the trailer was a new drop that the zombies dropped, and a lot of people were wondering what it was and what it does. And here it is right here. This right here, guys, is a plant seed. And it's a new drop from the zombies, and you could just simply pick it up. And it is worth noting that you could pick up more than one of these guys. You can actually hold up to three in your inventory. As you see here on the screen, I actually have two on me right now. So, with these plant seeds, there are specific locations found throughout the world where you can plant them. And from planting them, you just wait around at the most I noticed and they will mature into a brand new pod and you can open up the pod this is kind of reminiscent of shadows of evil you open up the pod and inside so far all I got from this recording session was some really cool guns uh, I, well <laughs> really cool as you see here we get the Shiva in one of the pods and then in another pod we get the locust now I didn't wait very long to open these so I'm wondering if you wait longer if you possibly can get a better weapon from them. I would assume so, maybe, maybe not. But what's really interesting is in the trailer, we saw a different type of plant. But as you'll notice here, it is growing out of the same container that I planted the seed in. And as you see, a little hand extends. This is definitely a Venus flytrap sort of a plant. So I'm thinking to myself, there must be a way to grow this. So one of the new items you can pick up is a bucket. As you see right here, it's right next to the seeds. So they directly connect to one another. So where can you find these buckets? I found one in the spawn room. And on the map, you'll see a spot for two generators located in Zetsuba no Shima. And I found two of them by the generator. So there's some ideas of where you can find these buckets. There are pools of water that seem to be contaminated with 115 throughout the map. You can pick up the water using your bucket. I'm wondering if you go and water the plant before it matures, if perhaps we can see that plant that we saw in the trailer. Now I did see one other YouTuber actually grow a different plant than what you saw here. So it's unclear if the seeds are different that they drop or if you actually have to water these plants. My bet is on watering them. There are three different types of pools of water on the map, different colors. So experiment and have fun. This is just one video today, guys. We will have more as the day goes on. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned right here. Subscribe if you're new and hit that like button if you found this video informative. Guys, we're growing plants on Zatsuba no Shima. I'll see you real soon for another video.